Hi guys, hadn't intended to do more videos about this 3D printing and the pink filament that I've been using that's given me trouble, but I thought I'd just show a few things I've printed. Um, just printed this bracket for the 3D printer to hold the filament in place. I've been printing these on a higher quality setting, so um, slower movement, uh, thinner layers. Um, I think I've been printing these on 50% fill. I think it was 50% I went up to. Looks pretty good. If you do study it, there are still these sort of the porous effect or like air holes in it. Probably won't see it on the camera. Uh, that one looks a bit funny on the inside, but that's because it was printed that way up, so there was nothing to support that sort of roof there. Probably should have printed it with support. I don't know. And it's split. Because yeah. I pushed it on there and it's split. That one's got a few holes in it. Generally looks okay. Right, these two. Uh, that one was printed on uh, normal setting, I think. So there's fast, normal, and high quality. So that one's pretty porous. I think I may have shown you that one already, and that one. That one was printed on the quality, best quality setting. This one, I just increased the heat. So instead of being 200, it was 210, but still on the fast setting. And yeah, doesn't look very good at all, does it? Lots of holes in that. Might be worth trying to fly it just to see what happens. Pretty flexible because it's got no top layer to it. Well, there's also that line there that looks a bit funny. That shouldn't be there. It's not on the other ones. And then this one, this was printed at uh, 50% fill, 210 degrees temperature for the filament, uh, 65 for the bed. Did I say 50% fill? Uh, and uh, 50 speed. So that's sort of middle of the range with extra fill. And it's still a little bit like a, well, got air holes in it. So that filament, yeah, I expect I could keep playing with it and eventually come up with some setting that will suit it. I could probably do one with 100% fill anyway, just to make a heavier boomerang. This one's a bit heavier. Yeah, I did weigh those, didn't I, in the previous video. That one's just very light. So, yeah, I could probably do one with 100% fill. But, yeah, I mean, point is, all filaments aren't the same. Buy them from different manufacturers. You have to play around with the settings to get the best result. And I don't really want to have to do that, especially if I want to change filament mid-print uh, mid or something like that. You don't want to have to change the heat settings as well. So that pink stuff I will just keep for doing prototypes so I can use it up and make the final prints from different filament. Just a little bit more on this pink filament. I've been out today and I left this one printing. It looks at first glance pretty good. And that blade looks very nice. 
Uh, it's got a little bit of a warp up on the end there. It's kicked up a bit. But other than that, that looks pretty nice. It's, it's not perfect, but it's not bad. Got a nice sheen to it all. That one, it's kicked up even more at the edge. And this one is terrible. It's completely warped. It should be curved the opposite direction. So that's completely lifted up off the bed. Now this one, um, I'll put the di dimensions in the video when I do it. I'll do a screenshot of the um, uh, slicer, Creality slicer that I use with the details up in the top uh, top corner up there it'll be. Um, but this is 100% fill. Uh, 50, 50 speed I think, which is relatively slow. The high speed is um, 80. So relatively, relatively slow. 100% fill. Uh, 210 degrees centigrade for the filament and the default value is 200 on the printer or on the um, slicer so I upped it to 210 and the bed was up to 65 instead of 60 and clearly it's peeled off the bed and lifted up while it's been printing so just increasing the heat wasn't the answer or increasing the fill wasn't the answer so definitely a bit of a problem filament this one I've been flying the other ones I printed of this and they fly fairly well what I'll do with this one is I'll heat it up and see if I can flatten that off again it won't have quite the right profile in fact looking at it all that edge is lifted up it's supposed to be curved over airfoil shape obviously for the um, yeah, in fact, that's almost like it's got the Air Force shape on the wrong side. It's got a nice curve there, but it's supposed to be curving over there, and then gently tapering on the back of it. So, basically, that one's gone horribly wrong. And that was a six and a half hour print, which is why I don't normally attempt to do high quality long prints. So six and a half hours of uh, wasted time, to be honest. And just a reminder, if I use the other PLA that I got, it's fine. It's this pink stuff. It is PLA, but it's obviously an odd brand or odd mixture. So quite all right for me to do prototyping with but not for the finished project product. Hi guys, spotted another tri-bladed boomerang on uh, Thingiverse. I think it was Thingiverse. It was either Thingiverse or Tinkercad. Having real trouble trying to print it using this pink filament. This one at first glance might look okay this was printed yeah that that blade looks fine um, that one was terribly warped it just lifted right up and was all curled up and that one so I've actually heated them to flatten them so I had another go and I printed it with a brim and that didn't help, it just broke away and picked up at the edge. So I had another go. What it is, it's where this is very close to the edge of my bed. And clearly it's not, well I would say, probably not warm enough out there. I've, Before you ask, yes I have checked the level of the bed, levelled it. In fact I re-levelled it after that one before this one but it's still messing up on the edges here the only other thing I could try is printing it hotter see if that keeps it softer for longer and stops it 
curling up. But yeah, this is printed with a brim to try and hold it down. And that has turned out fairly well. And that one looks like it's flyable without any modification. Well, maybe a bit of trimming around the edges. But that one, so I had to heat it, heat it, heat it, had to heat it to flatten it down. Whereas that one, that one looks okay. A little bit trimming there. And that should be okay. The guy who'd actually put this file up, I, he was talking about still basically polishing it <laughs> to get the ridges off it, to get it absolutely perfect. Also, putting little copper slugs in each of these holes to give it a bit of weight and help it spin. So that's something I might try. Copper slugs, he suggested, or he said you could probably use um, 6M, I think it was, nuts and bolts. What size are they? Yeah, you could slice that off and just use a, a nut and a bolt on there, just to give it a bit of tip weight to help it spin. That's a thicker one. Probably force that through or we'll drill it out a little bit. Give it a little bit of weight on the tips. I'll think about that. Hopefully, this will be the last instalment of this series. So, these have all been printed with. Let's think, 50% fill, uh, 50 speed, 210 heat for the filament and 65 for the um, bed. Uh, I think that's the relevant bits. I will put a, a screenshot of the details over here somewhere. For a few seconds. Um, this one I've actually cleaned up and it, it actually looks quite nice and it feels solid and there's mm, virtually no missing bits. I can just see there's a tiny little bit of... I uh, can't think what word to use. Tiny little bit of holes in there. Um, a lot of this is down to exactly where it sits on the bed. So I think my my bed is not evenly heated because just there it's overheated. It's a bit of a mark there. When it gets out to the edges, I think it's uneven. But that one looks like that'll come out quite nicely. And trim up. Okay. This is the, the thicker boomerang, it's about twice the thickness of that. This is the one that really curled up badly on the other settings, but that stayed flat nicely. And then this one's a different shape, and it's thinner again. And that one's turned out really nicely as well. So increasing the heat slowing the speed down um, and when I did them on a hundred percent fill just trying to find which one it was I think it was this one that I did it really curled up badly and that, that one I've actually heated to flatten down again but that one had bowed up like a spoon shape so that one's a hundred. I think that one was fifty. But yeah, hopefully that's it. Extra heat, fifty percent fill, slow print, and 
that one's probably the best out of the lot. But that one's come out quite nicely as well. That one hasn't bowed up on the edges. But I'm also using brim as well to hold it down. That's this stuff around the edge, which I don't like using. And I suppose I could um, put some sort of adhesive on the bed to increase the adhesion. But yeah, that one looks pretty good. only thing is, they're all pretty small, can't go any bigger than that on the printer without doing one of those modular ones where you join them together in the middle. Still, hopefully that's the last one or the last instalment on this pink filament thing. Extra heat and using the brim to hold the edges down. And I think that's possibly a problem with the bed being unevenly heated. Thanks for watching. You'll find more information down in the video description. You might like to watch that video up there. And you might like to subscribe over there.